Hello and welcome to another of Campbell DeKale's Takeaway Trios. And today we're going to be talking about regulatory returns. So that's your statistical data return, your financial forecast return, your quarterly survey, etc. And you may be aware that the regulator of social housing has been a bit more tetchy of late about the accuracy and the quality of the data that it's receiving from uh, registered providers. And indeed, we have been called in on several occasions to help people uh, improve the quality of their submissions and the processes they use for, for doing so. So here are our top three tips from all of our learning. The first one is make sure that someone is senior, preferably from the executive team, is answerable to the board for the quality of regulatory returns. And um, don't push it down the organisation, have it right at the top. Second tip, produce and update internal guidance that shows um, what the sources are for all that data, what calculations need to be undertaken, puts out a really good timetable, identifies responsibilities and updated to um, taking on board lessons learned from previous year's submissions. And top tip number three is to make sure you keep a clear period at the end of your timetable free for a careful quality control and a sense check by someone who's not been involved in the data collation up to that point. So those are our top three tips for regulatory returns. Thank you.